two degrees Celsius, 2C for short, the equivalent of 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Why is that temperature talked about so much in relationship to climate change? For the explanation, let's begin with the Industrial Revolution in the late 1800s, when our use of fossil fuels accelerated. According to the World Meteorological Organization, the global average temperature at that time was 13.7 degrees Celsius, or 56.6 degrees Fahrenheit. The amount of CO2 was almost just dead constant uh, for, for at least a thousand years. Over the course of the next several decades, carbon dioxide emissions from the burning of coal, gas, and oil began building in the atmosphere and oceans, gradually heating the planet. In the 70s, the warming trend took a sharp turn upward. Around this time, it was an economist, William Nordhaus, who first suggested the significance of 2C as a critical threshold. Then in the 90s, science researchers and policymakers put forth 2C warming as the limit the Earth could handle without the most disastrous outcomes. That limit became formally recognized by the United Nations Climate Change Group in 2010. You have more warming than 2C, then you start getting into really serious economic consequences, social consequences. Since the late 1800s, the world has heated by about one degree Celsius, a little under two degrees Fahrenheit. A warming of 1C may not seem like much, but with just that increase, we're already living with rising seas, record-breaking heat, changes in precipitation patterns, and more wildfires. At our current rate of emissions, the Earth is on track to warm by up to four degrees Celsius, or about seven degrees Fahrenheit. In terms of sea levels alone, the difference in projected outcomes of four sea warming as compared to two sea is dramatic. In order to limit the warming to 2C, we've got to stop setting things made of carbon on fire. We've got to transition the energy supply um, very rapidly away from coal, oil, and gas and toward um, everything else. This has got to happen very quickly. It has to start happening now. And in particular, it's critical that um, alternative energy is used for the development of the developing world. 2C, it's a relatively small number, but one with big outcomes attached to it. 